to our cease this will just be a quick video i just want to show you um the process of capturing things and uh and just to show you just so you can get a, a, your head around what my what i'm dealing with when i have errors with regards to the data being captured okay so i'm working on a on a on an installation okay so this is what i do so what i've just done here is i've got this project that i work with and uh this is connected to the amazi water server and this is sites that i update and then update that when necessary and then these are from the downloaded files so we've got the installation uh, table as well as the sites from the so this comes off the gps right so if we turn the sites off you'll see that all those points should be very similar okay so if new sites are captured we'd see them and etc okay so this is what i do first of all i need to join the installation if i open up the installation table you'll see that there are two records so that's two sites that have been pump tested so what i need to do is find out where those are and the quickest way for me to do that is just to to run a join quickly so go to join and i want to join that installation table using the foreign key with the key to the sites i just give the the field a prefix for my own benefit there's the joins fix so i can say okay now when i open up this uh, table for this folder you'll see there's a whole lot of new um, fields that have been added and i'm just looking for the most recent ones that are updated and there is a connection so there is a connection so i know that those are the two because there's a connection there i know that those are the two from that table that have joined through so i just select them and then all I do is I just say zoom to, zoom out slightly, and I can see there are two sites. Okay, now I've chosen this one as an example to show you because there's only two sites as opposed to 15 or whatever. So now the first thing I do is I, just based on what that connection is, if we click on this one, we'll see that it is Kagazi, P111991 Kagazi, and then this one is singer okay all right so none of those names really coincide with this colleen so what i then do is i just turn on the google hybrid layer and i just have a look and i see if it makes sense to me and and if we look at this this does not make sense look why would the guys be putting a borehole in the middle of this area here where there's actually very low population or really close to this borehole so my spider sensors go off and I think, okay, this is possibly an error. So how am I going to um, resolve this? Well, what I luckily and what I've been asking for is that the photograph's taken. Okay, so this is what, where this comes from. Hopefully the photograph's taken. If we open it up and we go to details, if the location data is turned on for that phone and for this one it is, then the least I can do is I can use these coordinates okay so but before i do that the other thing i can do is just to look at those numbers so what have we got there it's p119 and p22316 so hopefully that it's already been captured and 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 there already exists a site so what i do is i'll go in here and i will actually look for it so let's go quickly look for it so i say pid like and then i want to just search for a piece of the text and so I don't have to get the text 100% correct. So I run that. I say select features. Nothing selected. Okay, so that tells me that that is a new site. It hasn't been captured before. Let's try the other one. 2316. Select features. And likewise, none selected. Okay, so this is not good news for me because what that means is I need to try and locate these. Okay, so now I'm doing it for two, but picture me doing this for 15 sites. Okay, so then what I need to do is I'm going to go to this one here. Okay, and I see E11991 has a couple of aerial photographs, or not aerial photographs, I beg your pardon, um, images. And what are they? Uh, photo 1 ending in 11275. So, so 11275 belongs to P1991. Uh, there's another one there, 3553-5550. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm looking at these these last numbers here because they are unique to each 
image. So those ones should be fine. Now let's go have a look at this one. And we've got a 3253, 3253. And the reason I'm doing two is just in case one of them is incorrect, the phone was incorrect. So four, four, five, seven, eight is the other one. Okay, so now I have essentially four images that I need to capture and um, using the <clears throat> using the coordinate data. Okay, so now what I do is I open up this um, Excel spreadsheet which I've created. And what it does is it converts um, the coordinate data from those images. So, so what I do is I'll just, just minimize this, this, drag it to the side slightly, and I need to go back to my image folder. Where are the images? Okay, so let's start off with that first one, which was 11275. Ended in, okay, there it is. There, there it is here. Okay, so this image, if I open the properties and I go to details, I'll see that it is latitude here. So now I need to type that in. So it's 251.15.706.67999. Okay, and you'll see when I finish that, it, it completes it and creates a latitude in decimal degrees. Do the same for longitude. So it's 29, 5, 10. And then the whole the whole process requires on my accuracy. So if I make any mistakes here, it's also going to throw things out. So I need to make sure I'm doing this correctly. I then copy this value, go to my second sheet. And I paste it in here as a value. Okay, that was for P1991. And then that image was this image. Okay, this is just so when I add it to the project, I have a reference. Okay, so that's one done. All right, what was the other one? It was 35550. Okay, this one here. Properties, details. Let's zoom down to the coordinates. And what I'll do is, because you get the sense of, of what I'm trying to do here. So what I'm going to do is pause the video, collect the rest, and then and then I'll continue this video after that. Okay, so I've actually just captured three, and what I then need to do is save it as a CSV. So then I need to go File, Save As, Bigger. Go and find it. Okay, so I've got this one, which I'll overwrite and use that one. So I'll replace that one, yes. It's fine, I can say yes, and then go back to QGIS. And I need to import that. So import, open. And then add and close. There it is. There. What I then do is I make I give it a big different color icon, so I can make sure that I can see it. But already I can see based on where these two are that it's not in the right place. So if I zoom to that layer, be three. <laughs> okay. So this is not ideal, right? Because there's supposed to be two. So then what I need to do is I just need to double check. If there is another way to tell what these coordinates should be and there actually is if i go to back to my image folder and let's double click on the actual um test sheet bring this test sheet across from my other screen and if i zoom in on this test, so if i go there's p991 two two eight four three, that's correct that one's correct so this one not correct. Okay, so I'm going to remove that one. Eat that one. Save it again. Hopefully it links up properly. So we'll be able to refresh and one of them should disappear. That one disappeared. Okay, so now if I have a look at those sites. They should be there. Okay, so this one here is E2316. Okay, so then what I need to do is I need to move those two because remember these these are linked using a unique identifier to the table. So the easiest way for me to bring them in is to um, link them or just drag them across and then copy them into that file. So I need to do that next. What that means is I need to start editing. Zoom to those two that were selected. Oh, they're not selected anymore. Okay, they're not selected anymore. Make sure I select them again. There is where is it? Zoom to selected. There they are. There. Are there? Are there? 
way down there. Okay, so I need to drag them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag them both across at once. So, yeah, let's drag them across there. What I'll do quickly is I'm going to label label this one. So I think by now you're getting a sense of, of what I have to go through and why this takes a while when there are errors. Okay, when there aren't errors, I just copy them straight in, no problem. Okay, so that's P119 and that's P2, P16 according to the sheets and the images. And then let's also just create a label for this one too. Label and this one. PID. There we go. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to drag them across. So I'm going to select that one. And I just need to change the snapping quickly so I can snap to the, the new point, the actual correct location. Okay, so um, if, I, if I didn't go through this whole process, what I would do is I would just tell you guys, hey, it's in the wrong place. Go find the right place. But through a whole lot of extra work and deduction, I am able to locate them based on the the coordinates that come in I'm sure those are in the right place okay and based on the coordinates that have come through on the the images as well as the sheets luckily these are pump tests where they do actually capture okay so now we've got these two sites so now what i do select that one select that one start editing here assuming those are in the correct place what I do is I copy it, go on two sites, paste it. Should be two new blue sites. Okay. Stop editing there. Now because these are well points and they actually weren't well points, what I can do, I can also add it to the website. Okay, so now this is the, the web server. So I'll paste those two. They should get green triangles. Okay, so now the online version and the one map will also be showing these. Okay, so now what I can do is I can stop editing this. What I, oh my gosh, it's fine. I actually don't need to. Okay, so then what I can do is I open up this one. Okay, now this is installation. Take these, start editing. Got a bit small. Copy all of those values. And I need to same, paste them in here, start editing. Paste them in there, just they came through. Oh, and there's no duplicates, no duplicates. Okay, so now I can assume that those are correct. I'll save those. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, now what I can do is I should be able to, to select those. So I'm going to turn off this, turn off these, select my sites, and select those two that were selected. So it's this one here and this one here. If I turn off the red, let's just make sure those new ones are selected. Yes, they are. Open up the attribute table, go to forms, and it was a test. Time test, yes. Okay, so great. It has linked through. There are my images for that one. There are my images for that one. So now what I need to do is I need to go in here. I need to, first of all, shrink these down, which I'll do briefly without showing you. It's not necessary for me to show you this part. Okay, then all I need to do is just move these into two locations. The one online location that you can see, and then the one on my desktop. So let's do that one first. Make this bigger so I can see. Design. Paste them in here. Go back into Q just to see that it works. Refresh this, it should work. Okay, refreshing actually removes all of the, the selections. So let's just select those two again. Click this. Yeah. Up. Now I want to go to pump testing, there should be a linked image. And there is. And there is. Okay, so that's that's 
basically what I, I mean there's a whole lot of other stuff I, I now need to do but that's kind of what I'm faced with Tassis when when things aren't in the right place so I just wanted to I know I've, I've said this to you before but I just wanted to to just give you a visual idea of, of what I'm going through when things are in the wrong place now I don't know why these two points were in the wrong place but they were and it's because the guys aren't using the app properly so yeah let's just leave that in your court i'm going to keep capturing as i can just to let you know that it's a lot quicker sometimes when the the um the technicians are on the ball and they know what they're doing but when the technicians don't get it right it takes me more than half an hour to add two sites and uh yeah that seems like a big waste of time for everyone so <laughs> yeah let me know what you think cheers